Hi, I'm Lisa, Senior Manager of Production and Treatment at SA Water. After sewage is flushed down the toilet, it flows into SA Water's network, which is a series of pipes and pumps, and it will find its way to one of our treatment plants, which are all across the state, um, such as one like Christie's Beach, which we're at. So when it arrives at the plant, it will go through a series of treatment processes and it will be cleaned up so that it's suitable either to be released into the environment or to be used as reclaimed water. It matters to SA Water what we flush down the toilet for a number of reasons. Firstly, if we flush the wrong things, it can cause blockages in, within our series of pipes and that can lead to chokes and overflows. So that's not a good thing from the community's perspective. It's a lot of inconvenience. It does cost us money to go and clear the chokes, which obviously we don't want to waste money. Um, and I think the other thing is we're really strong on protecting the environment. So we want to do everything we can to ensure that we don't have overflows to impact on the environment. So there are some items that do arrive at the treatment plant that um, just can't be removed. Some of the larger things are things like rubber chickens. Yes, we've seen rubber chickens come through. Um, we've had cricket balls come through, dog toys come through, false teeth, all sorts of things. So we also do have things like wet wipes, sanitary pads, tampons and condoms and they all can't get through the plant they're all collected here at the screenings area so they actually look like this it's disgusting it smells and this stuff ends up in landfill spread the word let's keep our sewers healthy